Subridge is an interface between traditional CAD systems and the new world of SketchUp. Once installed, you will find a small toolbar inside your CAD program which allows you to run the commands of Subridge. Let's begin by seeing how you can make the most of the great 3D warehouse library of SketchUp. Just connect to the website and see how you can easily navigate through the huge number of collections published by many manufacturers. They're all real products and currently marketed. Let's say you have found an object that you need for your design. For example, like this coffee table that you can see in the screen. You just download the SketchUp file format and then save it to your computer. Using the import SketchUp model command you simply insert it directly into the CAD drawing you are working on. As you can see the insertion is performed as if it were a common CAD block. You can then specify the insertion point, the scale factor and the rotation angle. The inserted object consists of 3D surfaces so you can remove hidden lines view in the shaded mode or decide to render it. Let's now add to our design another object made with SketchUp. For example, a stair. Also in this case, we specify insertion point, scale factor and angle. We see that Sue Bridge has converted the names of SketchUp materials into layer names. This allows you to assign colors and other properties to the object components. And then in turn to assign a material for rendering. Let's see now how you can do the reverse path, that is exporting from your CAD drawing into a SketchUp model. Let's say you have a 3D drawing made of solids or with a 3D application like Add CAD. Here we can see the view of our 3D model with hidden lines. The export 3D command asks you to select the objects. In this example we simply reply with the All option to export the entire drawing. At this point you can run SketchUp and open the file you have just exported from Sue Bridge. So let's open the file we have just saved. Let's zoom out and rotate the model in order to verify that the three-dimensional model has been exported successfully. Note that any 2D element like text and lines have been omitted during export. The third SuBridge command allows you to generate a 3D model as a SketchUp format starting from a simple 2D plan view. We can see in fact that the current drawing only consists of lines and 2D blocks previously created by Technobit's free AdCAD basic application. The export 2D command asks you to select the entities from which to generate the 3D model. In this case we reply all because we are interested in transforming the entire drawing. We are then asked the height of the 3D model. Let's insert for example 3.5 meters. Finally we save the file to the desired folder. Let's run SketchUp again and open the file we have just saved. We zoom out and rotate the model so we can see that it is made up of 3D faces with the exact openings for the doors and the windows. This is because AdCAD Basic lets you specify the heights of the openings and the window sills of the windows. At this point you can continue to work with SketchUp commands 
and insert the doors and windows, maybe downloading them from the 3D warehouse. Thank you for watching our video.